welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa Dang and I will be sharing five tips that are key to eating healthy. And following everything that I mentioned in this video is the reason why I lost a stubborn 20 pounds postpartum. The topics that will be covered are how to shop, eating the rainbow, meal prep, plating, and add not subtract. Eating is grand. It brings together families, it builds communities, and it gives us health. Now, I understand that going to a grocery store can be overwhelming and intimidating, but we've got to eat. I'm going to show you how to shop so you can be healthier, wiser, and wealthier. I usually come in with my grocery list handy so then I won't be browsing the aisles and making unnecessary purchases. A pro tip is to start on the perimeter of the grocery store. That's where you can find your fresh fruits, veggies, and meats. Going down the aisles of the grocery store first, you would be susceptible to more packaged food and items. A good bulk of your grocery run should be composed of fresh fruits and veggies and meats because that's where we get most of our nutrients from and make us feel more satiated and fuller. Rather, if you were going down the aisles of the grocery store and you were to say, find the package items like cookies or chips, those would be snacks that many people overeat. I usually like to go down the aisles of the grocery store last because that's where I get my grains, like rice, quinoa, but sometimes I do get chips. A chip that I really do recommend that's great for dipping like in salsa or guacamole, you can get it from the brand Siete and they are grain-free tortilla chips. And oh my god, I just discovered a new chip by the brand Banana. They have like plantain chips that they sell in all different flavors and my favorite one is the garlic and it's super simple, the ingredients. It's literally just plantains, coconut oil, sea salt, and garlic. While I did enjoy Cheeto Puffs when I was younger, now looking at them, the ingredient list is like a mile long. All those ingredients are just not good for my body and do not nourish me as much as other foods would that I enjoy just as much. The next major tip that I have for eating healthy is to eat the rainbow. Each produce that you see here contains phytochemicals. A phytochemical is a naturally occurring compound produced by plants which contain nutrients that benefit overall health. And when they say eat the rainbow, they mean like sweet potatoes, red peppers, meats, fish, tofu, rice, quinoa. It's so good for your body and it nourishes you and it gives you energy. And in turn, your whole plate looks aesthetically pleasing. When you have a more aesthetically pleasing plate, you are more enticed to go and eat the food that you see in front of you. Our world is full of triggers, whether it be overeating or undereating. For example, shiny foods at the counter, supersized having organic turkey and brown rice lentil pasta. Yummy! Here you go. Yummy in your tummy. Yummy, yummy. The next topic I will be discussing is plating. Using the plating method is simple. Per Harvard's School of Public Health, it serves as a guide to eat healthy and balanced meals. For children, use a seven inch plate and for adults, we will use a nine inch plate. First, divide the plate in half. Fill one of them with vegetables or fruits. There are two different types of vegetables. We have starchy, like potatoes, corn, peas, 
And we also have non-starchy like cucumber, carrot, salad. Then fill a fourth of your plate with whole grains like brown rice, quinoa, pasta, and then the remaining quarter of your plate with protein like chicken, fish, or beans. So accompany your meal, water, coffee, or tea are good options. By minimizing your sugar intake, like limiting juice to one glass a day is super important. For me, water is something that I always drink with all my meals. A very important part on how to eat healthy and stay on track is to add, not subtract. You focus on what you can add to your diet and not what to take away. Let's look at this waffle. Most people will think, I shouldn't be eating frozen food. Now, let's see what we can do about that. Protein keeps us satiated. Greek yogurt is an excellent source of protein. It contains healthy probiotics that support gut health. It also helps with muscle recovery. Next thing I'm adding is nut butter. Nut butters are an excellent source of healthy fats. The one I'm using is only made of almonds. Healthy fats help us stay fuller for longer and help with the absorption of vitamin A, D, E, and K. The last thing I will be adding is fiber since waffles don't have much fiber. Let's add some raspberries and blueberries. Fiber will help us keep fuller for longer, control our blood sugar levels, and lower cholesterol levels. It is part of a larger meal that will help fuel us and stay satiated. I'm so excited. I wanna eat this. I'm so hungry. This is actually like my healthy dessert. Try it out. Mmm. It tastes so good. You guys have to try the add, not subtract. I hope these tips were helpful in how to eat healthy. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. Have a good day. Bye.